welcome back to another review right here at All Sports Review. My name is Will and today it's another G1 unboxing and it's the reissue commemorative edition of Jazz. So it's a commemorative edition series 3. This I picked back up around about 2003. 2002-2003 back in Toys R Us when you could get this and it wasn't just generic stuff you could get in Toys R Us. This is one of my favourites. And just look. Look look at that for presentation. It is absolutely fantastic. Stickers are on. He has been opened. Some things I've not put on. And that is like the missiles. I've not broke those off. I'd rather just keep them nice and tidy. But I thought let's look at something that came back. It was a reissue. And you get to see like people had never really like had like the reissues of the G1 style. And... Even the box, which is obviously with my borders, like people keep asking, well, why the border? Why do you want this border? And that's why. Just because it looks like the G1s. So, as always, folks, I'd like to thank you for all the new subscribers. And thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe button, and that notification bell. And if you wish to follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, anything Twitch, Check out the description link at the bottom below. And of course, please stay to the end of the video where you can get to also follow the one and only Cybertronic Spree. Now, let's get Jazz open, get him transformed G1 style. So let's have a closer look at the box. Like I said, this is the whole reason I wanted my board to look like this. This screams Generation 1 Transformers. Season 2, if you look at the Season 2 intro, you kind of get where I'm going for with it. The packaging is beautiful, and this is one of the things I loved about the commemorative series. And really anything that does the G1. I've got uh, quite a few in boxes like this, and I've got a couple of the, the white boxes. And that's mostly Optimus Prime and Hot Rod. They too, I wanted something different than just these boxes. I wanted they to be my special ones. Um, but we'll get there. We will get to they too one day. Opening up, of course, there you've got G1 Jazz. And my horrible attempt at putting up stickers back in the day. This is when I first started collecting Transformers. Um, on the side, there were the ones that were, at the time in the series you could get... Uh, the one that I'm missing, I'm missing two, is Magnus and Starscream. One day this bad boy will come. If we get to 100 subs, I think this will be the one we will open. The, the Power Master Optimus Prime. But when I started collecting, this was the Transformer that brought me back into the G1s. Uh, getting them collected. Like I said... When I restarted collecting, Optimus Prime Armada, Megatron Armada was the first two I bought. So Jazz have the Jazz really does have the honours of being that G1 Transformer that came back, um, then followed by Optimus Prime, Hot Rod, and Power Master Optimus Prime. Uh, you get the stickers as always, and even in the box, and it's just the lighting. Just try to get that right. As you can see, Transformers labels all over it. Fantastic. Get me the cellophane. I'm going to leave the missiles in. Missiles, I don't want snapped off. They've been that long kept in the way they have been. So we'll leave it how it is. And even behind that, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Yes, yes you do at this angle. You get this beautiful Transformer logo. Beautiful. Moving the camera down for Jazz. There we go. G1 Jazz moves perfect. Everything's still fantastic about them. Transforming Jazz. Pick out the doors. Just pick that roof up and you're just stretching out his legs. Bring them up. These will move. And you just fold down the feet. Just try to keep them steady. There we go. 
these transformers, the, the the classic style, like the metal, the metal style, it always fascinated me. It really did. Come back here, the head, just have it ready because underneath there's the hands and they're just basically folding each other. So there's like little pivots where they connect. So you just unpivot them and twist round. Put the bonnet down so it's covering that bit. Pull back the head, head is shown. And there we have G1 Jazz. Something different today. I wanted to do something different. If you want to bring in size comparison, I will bring in, let's see, let's see, who could I bring in? Who have we not used, um, it's got to be G1, it's got to be G1 for size comparison, that is the most important thing. So we use my hot rod, let's bring in hot rod, this is the one I've got out of the box, that's the reason, that it's hot rod, I love them no matter what, so it doesn't matter how you look. This is one I've had for a long time. The rest are all sealed in, in their boxes. But there we go, Jazz next to Hot Rod. And if we want to go like like ultimate, like G1, um, to show the size comparison. Ultimate size comparison. There's Fortress Maxis's foot. <laughs> of course, Jazz comes with weapons. He's got his traditional blaster. And he's got his rocket launcher, which, if I remember, just clips on behind the the head. Only the toy came with it. I know the character didn't have it. Um, like I said, I'm not putting the rockets in. They're still never been broken, and they're going to stay that way. So let's bring them forward for the camera. Still looks fantastic. I really hope, I know there's third party ones of jazz. I really hope the masterpiece uh, official Takara one comes soon. He is somebody that I want in the collection of my masterpiece kits. And I don't know if he'll jump up for me just now. But Jazz has also got another place in my heart. And if I shout on him, Jazz, come here. Come here. I'd like to, to say hello to my Jazz. This is my Jazz. My dogs have all got names after something I love. So we've got Jazz and we've got Tony. And you can probably guess Scarface. So Transformer fans, this is G1 reissued coming out of Series 3 Autobot Jazz. As always guys, thank you. I hope you really enjoyed the video. As always, like and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, All Sparks Reviews, and now you can follow All Sparks Reviews on Twitter at All Spark YT. And of course, you can follow myself on Twitch at OptimusWallBart85. Just type that in the search engine at the top. Also, a massive thank you once again to Cybertronics 3 for their amazing track, Cybertronic Warrior. I really do hope you guys check them out and give them much support and much love, one of the most fantastic bands I've ever heard and do amazing covers, so please check them out right here on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. And as always guys, tell all I want.